Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. The word works. I'm going to work on this one for a day or two. I want you to get this. Get it, get it, get it, okay? God does not work towards you based on your performance. He works towards you based on his covenant. Now, he made his first covenant with Abraham, and Abraham messed up an awful lot, but God treated him not based on his mess-ups, but based on the covenant that he made with him. Boy, that's really good news. I'm glad to know today that God's going to deal with me based on his word, based on his covenant, rather than deal with me based on whether I'm good or bad. <clears throat> I had a friend of mine. Randy and Ruth in Tulsa, Oklahoma, called me the other day and really got my mind to working on this. He said, uh, well, when you first called, I couldn't answer because I was buying my son some gas. Now, listen, listen. He's, he is an adoptive father. He, the, he and Ruth adopted a couple of sons back there, you know, 25, 30 years ago now. But he said, you know, my son's having a little hard time struggling with his job and so forth. And he said, so I had gone out of my way to buy him some gas. And they had a miracle price on the gas. Maybe I'll get to that tomorrow. But this is the thing that I want you to get. The boy had been adopted, but yet the father was still helping him, and in this case, providing for him because of their relationship, and it is an adoptive relationship. Glory be to God. You and I have been grafted in to the vine. We have been adopted by the father. The father himself was looking for me, looking for you, and Jesus paid the price for you, so now you are a son or a daughter of God. Now watch, and you have all the rights that even Jesus, who is your older brother, is what the Bible says, elder brother, you have the same rights that he had, and you have the faith of God, and you can do anything. Now get this. I want you to get this. This is what Randy said to me, he said, you know, sometimes my son messes up a little bit and sometimes he does things that I really don't approve of, but he's still my son and I do things for him because I am a good father. Glory be to God that I preach. God <clears throat> does good things for me, for you, because he's your father, not because you deserve it. Glory to God. Um, you know, God's delivered me from so many things. I'll tell you about one maybe tomorrow. But here's what I want you to get. I've been adopted by the Father God. You've been adopted by the Father God. And he's not going to react to you based on <clears throat> your behavior. He's going to react to you based on his covenant. And you are the redeemed. That's why the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So now get a hold of this. God's a good God. Maybe you're not so good, but God's a good God, and he does good things for his adopted children, and I'm one of them. Hallelujah. I believe you're one of them. I believe you're going to get the revelation of that. God loves you more than your mess-ups, and he's looking for somebody that he can show himself strong in their behalf, and I'm somebody, and you're somebody, and today you can have the blessings of God. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.